just got in myself. I can see that. You're smoking my fags. <laughs> yeah, well, I've run short, haven't I? Yeah. Go on, I'm starving. Here, yeah, Mum's a bit behind her. She shan't lay the table even. Yeah. Hello, love. Hello, oh, just coming, Mum. No, I'm just uh, going out. Hey. Uh, eh? <laughs> Olive's cooking your supper. Olive? Yeah, I've got something in the oven. Have you? What is it? Well, it's not a bun, I can tell you that. <laughs> Arthur, I do not like that sort of talk. Olive's making you one of her special stews. You'll be all right with her. Now, I really must go. Uh, do you like my scarf? Well, that's all right. Well, what is it? Special bingo, is on it? No, going out for a drink with a friend. Not that Mrs Harper again. No, gentleman friend. Eh? <laughs> hey? Yes. You know, Mr Phillips, I met him at the Mussman Social. Real friend. Oh, him, yeah. yeah. I think I know him, yeah. yeah. Well, not that I know, but uh, I've heard he's a bit of a shark. Hey? He's a very nice class of person. Olive, um, I think I can do with a bit of your lipstick. Here, is this kiss proof? Well, if it is, you never likely to find out. <laughs> Here, Mum, you want to be careful what you're doing, you know. I mean, let's face it, you haven't been out with a bloke for 25 years. Never mind, love, I've got a good memory. <laughs> well, it's like riding a bike, you never forget, do you? Well, do I look all right? Well, oh, fancy taking all that trouble at your age. Well, just because there's snow on the roof doesn't mean the fire's gone out. <laughs> Oh, me Mum's getting to be a bit of an old sex pot. Yeah, well, I shouldn't let it bother you. It doesn't run in the blood. <laughs> right, what's for supper? It's in the oven. You lay the table, I'll get it. Lum, it's anything like last time, Mark, though. You don't even need, need a knife and fork, mate. You need hammer and chisel at all. Uh -huh. And that was only for the gravy. <laughs> what on earth is that? That's meat stew. And for afters, I've got one of my special suet puddings. Oh, blimey. <laughs> you don't have to eat any more pudding if you don't want it. I'll have some. In fact, I'll have two portions. Oh, will you, love? Help keep this stew down. Oh. <laughs> I'll tell you what I'm going to do, Arthur. I'm going to have a bit before and a bit after. That way I trap it both ends. <laughs> don't have to have any of my cooking if you don't like it. Give me a sit here. I've got to eat something, don't I? God. Oh, I hope that man don't lead Mum astray. Don't be daft. They've only gone down to Booster for a drink, have they? Be back when the pub's closed. going out with Wilfred. You said for a quick drink. The pub's closed at 11 o'clock. Well, I went back to his place, didn't I? <laughs> no, you didn't. Well, I'm a bit too old for sitting on the grass. <laughs> Look at the time. Look at it, see it? Ten to two. You had us worried to death. You could have phoned. You could have you show a little consideration. Oh, well, if that's your attitude, I'm going to bed. Good night. I need my sleep. Oh, we need our sleep too, you know. We've got to get up and go to work in the morning. Can't stay in bed like you, you know. And I'm staying in bed in the morning, cos I'm going out again tomorrow night. <laughs> hello, Stan. Hello, Hello, hello mate. Hello, uh, hello, Olive. You're getting the grab ready? Yeah, I got some of the stew left from last night. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's what I thought. That's why I bought these fish and chips for us. Hallelujah. <laughs> you are rude. I spent all afternoon making a special custard to go with your pudding. Yeah, well, never mind about that. Just bung them in the oven, warm them up. Here, uh, is your mum gone out yet? No, she went out shopping this morning. She's been three hours getting ready ever since. Oh, yeah. Has she made my bed? She hasn't even made her own. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I'll have a thought of it. And see your vest. Hey? <laughs> what have you done to your hair? You've 
dyed it. No, I haven't. It's a wig. It's what they call a fan wig. Oh, me. Fancy, you can't afford things like that. Fancy wasting your money. I've got it with green stamps. <laughs> well, doesn't it suit me? Yeah, that's all right, I suppose. Only Wilfred said he liked blondes. He'll be here in a minute. Oh, oh, I haven't got my mascara on. Well, I'd better put a bit of this on, haven't I? Oh, blimey, I can't see without my glasses. <laughs> She does, and that's why she walks around with two black ear rolls. <laughs> oh, oh, the bell! He's here! Oh, dear! And I'm not ready! Oh, my goodness! I'll just put a bit of perfume on. That's all right. That'll be all right. Oh, look at the state of this place, Olive! You might have tidied it up! Here, here. Is my wig on all right? Oh, blimey. Here, look at this ashtray, Olive. Get rid of this. There's a good oh, girl. all right. Oh, I hope it doesn't move. For God's sake, don't sneeze anybody. Oh, I'll get it. Oh. I can't wait to meet Romeo. Oh, oh, my pension book. Oh, well, you need to see that. Mum, for God's sake, stop fussing. Oh, love, look at your tie. Oh, it's all crooked. And look at your hair. Leave me alone, will oh, you? My boy, you look nice, don't Do I? Do you, yes. darling? Yes. Oh, it's all right, then. I'll put a bit of scent behind your ear holes. <laughs> Put a little bit of mascara on if you Don't like. Don't talk to me like that. You're not too old to get a good clip round here. Oh, hello, Wilfie. Oh, I must look a frightful mess. I haven't really had time to get ready. Good. Hello, Mabel. Love you. You look wonderful. Oh. I like the way you've done your hair. It must have taken you hours. Oh no. Um, you know my son, Stan. Of course. Hello, mate. Hello. <laughs> Funny thing, you know, I've been 30 years on the buses and I've never been a conductor on Stan's bus. Oh! You don't know how lucky you've been. <laughs> and my son-in-law, Arthur. How do you do? Hello. And my little girl, Olive. Oh. <laughs> Hello, love. Well, you know what they say, a, a pretty mum has a pretty daughter. Oh! oh. <laughs> Mum's told us all about you, hasn't she, Arthur? I am standing over here, you great <laughs> luck. Get your glasses back on. Claire, well, back I, I brought you a little something. You, you said you liked hard centres. Oh, yes, they're my favourites. <laughs> oh, blimey, hard centres. Let's hope she's got a second set of false teeth with her. <laughs> well, come on in, Mab, so we'll have a quick drink in the pub. Oh, yes. Well, don't wait up for me, will you? Bye-bye, children. You know, have a nice time. Yes. Come on, Dad. <laughs> Bye bye, children. It's the one she didn't want to tuck me in bed with me teddy bear. Oh, I think he's quite nice. Fancy saying Mum had a pretty daughter. He's got something as Wilf. Yeah, same as you. Bad eyesight. <laughs> hey, what's that smell? Oh, oh, the fish and chips. What? the fish and chips gone. Thank God you made some custard. <laughs> Got news for you, mate. She used the custard to put out the fish and chips. <laughs> God, blimey, is murder, isn't it, eh? Fancy having to do our own work. This house is not worth living in since Mum went potty over that ponce. <laughs> I notice you let me do the difficult part. <laughs> what are you talking about? I did the washing. It took me two hours to get your blue shirts clean. You must have been cleaning your shoes with them or something. Blue shirts? What blue shirts? <laughs> These blue shirts you've just ironed. They're not mine, mate. They must be yours. They're not mine. You know I haven't got any blue shirts. They've got your monogram on here. WP... WP? <laughs> Blimey, we've been laundering his shirts. Hey! <laughs> well, how they get here? How they get mixed up with our washing? And how the hell do I know? Mum must have brought them up to do, I suppose. God blimey, no wonder he's laughing his head off. Look at him. <laughs> oh, God, now I've pulled the cotton out again. <laughs> this aren't too big for collars. <laughs> ah! Oh! <laughs> What's the matter? 
with you. Why don't you get Olive to do it? Before you injure yourself or something. You're quite right, mate. This is not man's work. Olive! Olive! <laughs> Where's your mum this afternoon? Why isn't she doing the ironing? Got the pictures with him, ain't she? Here, why haven't you done the ironing? What have you been doing all day? I've been all day doing upstairs. Don't talk when I went up there. Our bed's not even made. I did make it, Arthur. But I was so tired when I finished, I had to have a lie down. <laughs> I can't sit a friend this needle. Yeah, use my glasses. Right. <laughs> I can't even see the needle. <laughs> Take them all. Oh, there's the front door. Mum, is that you? Yes, Dad. <laughs> what do you got on there? Dad's old army greatcoat. Oh, <laughs> it's my new maxi. It's a present Wilfred thought would suit me. You mean say he bought it for you? No, it's a present to myself. Well, thank God you're home. We could do with some decent grub. Yeah, there's a pile of Arnie. Oh, I've only popped in for a minute. I'm going out again. Wilfred's here. Where's he hiding? I need the coat. <laughs> no, it's cavalry style. Do you like it? Yeah, there's room for the horse under there and all. <laughs> well, I did take it up a bit. I thought it was a bit on the long side. Yeah, you frightened of tripping over? No, love. I was afraid it wouldn't show me new boots. <laughs> yourself too? Yes, but it was Wilfred's idea. Was it really? Yes. yes. It's, a, it's a pity you didn't get them longer, innit? Well, how do you mean? Then you could have tucked your drawers in them. Wilfred, <laughs> <laughs> come and say hello to the children. Hiya, don't bring him in here yet. I've got my teddy bear out. <laughs> And how's the happy family? <laughs> oh, we've, uh, we've had a lovely day shopping, haven't we, Wilfred? Oh, we have, yes. <laughs> Why, you treasure. Hmm? You've done my shirts. <laughs> and beautifully ironed. Oh, that deserves a kiss. Oh. I did them. Um... <laughs> I wouldn't own up to that, mate, in case he comes over and slobbers all over you. <laughs> I'm very grateful for you doing my shirts. You don't know what a difference it makes to me. I mean, well, I lost my wife a couple of years ago, and I... I and, <laughs> well, it's very difficult for a man to manage in the house. We know. We're doing it. <laughs> yeah, but you don't know what life would be like without your wife. I've often thought about it. <laughs> but you've got a very nice place here, Mabs, you oh, know? yes. Yes. Yeah. Little garden? Yes. Yeah, nice little garden. Do you say you've got three bedrooms? Yes, I've had this house for 30 years. All paid for. Is it really? Mm. Yeah. You know, you could do very well for yourself here, you know? Huh? You could let off a couple of those rooms and a fiver each. And by the time you get your old age pension, not that you'll be needing that for a long while yet, my love, <laughs> you could live very comfortable. Ah, oh, but I couldn't do that, love. I've got all the family living here. Yeah, well, they won't be here for long. I mean, Arthur and Olive, they'll be starting a family any time. We've been married nine years, mate. All she's produced so far, chill planes. <laughs> Take one of those fertility pills. You can have five in one go. Oh, no! I don't want to have babies by taking pills. I want my husband to have something to do with it. <laughs> you don't only take the pills, you know. Well, come on in, Mabs. If we're going to bingo, we'd better get going. Oh, yes, I was forgetting, of course. <laughs> just a minute, Ed. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just getting a bit of money, dear. Yeah. That's the housekeeping, isn't it? Yes, well, Wilfred came out without his wallet. You were in such a hurry, weren't you, dear? Yes, well, I knew I was meeting you. <laughs> God, done it, mate. You're sick. <laughs> Mum, what's all them envelopes? Oh, I don't know. Love, they came through the post. I haven't had time to look at them. I haven't had a minute. Well, there you are, dear. Well, now we must be going. Well, you can manage, can't you, children? Oh, don't worry about them. They'll have to get used to managing. Yes. Yes, oh. yes well, come on, then, love. Well, let's go out the back way. Yes, I want to have a look at the garden. Oh, yes, yes it's yes. lovely out here. Yeah. Well, bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> God, blimey! 
me. Do you see that? Hey, do you see the way he was casing the joint? Hey, counting out the lolly he was. God, bro, I told you he was a con man, didn't I? The way he's got Marsh, she doesn't know whether she's coming or going. He does. If he has his way, we'll be going and he'll be coming. Yes, Dan, this is a final demand for the gas bill. Mum hasn't bothered to pay it. Hey, when's the last day? Today. They'll be coming to cut it off tomorrow. Oh, blimey, give us this here. My bus passes this tomorrow morning. I'll nip in and pay it. <laughs> It's a parking meter, mate, not a bus stop. Look, I'm going to pay the gas bill. Pay the gas bill? It won't be a second. I've got the money ready. Go on. <laughs> Where will I pay the gas bill? On the first floor, sir. There's a lift just going up. Right, thanks. It'll only be a few seconds. Look at that, five minutes ago. This meter says penalty. Well, we only just got here. That's what they all say. You say that to the magistrate. Been. I got stuck in that lift. I went up and down about 20 times. <laughs> We've had a woman traffic warden after us. Don't tell us you gave us a ticket. <laughs> no, she gave us two. One at each end. <laughs> All right, come on, look. Be one of liberty. She's just being funny, mate. It's the last we see of that. <laughs> Nip up and do some housework. Yeah, well, that'll have to wait. Look. Butler! Promise. She must have picked up those tickets. Yeah, you should have done like James Bond and swallowed them. <laughs> <laughs> this young lady has very kindly brought these to my attention. Thank you very much, miss. You've made my day for me. <laughs> Butler, in all my 20 years on the buses, I have never yet heard of a bus getting a parking ticket, and you have to go out and get two at once. Yeah, well, you know, Stanley always starts on a double. <laughs> Twit. I know you dawdle along the road, mate. I never know you went slow enough to get a parking ticket. <laughs> what happened, for God's sake? How did you manage to park the bus? What are you, how did, what are you doing? Uh, uh, well, I did, uh, uh, call of nature. <laughs> well, you had no right to go in that one in the gas company office anyway. Hang about that shop steward. I'm here to tell you he's entitled to use of convenience. It's a very long route we're on. Three quarters of an hour at the cemetery gates. Three quarters of an hour? Well, you've got a weak bladder then, have you? <laughs> I'm sorry, Butler, I have to take this to the general manager oh, no, this time. Now, no, Flakey, give us a break. Do us a William favour. Look, I'll tell you the truth. I had to go in the gas company to pay the bill, otherwise I was going to cut me gas off. Oh, I don't care what you have cut off, mate. <laughs> You're supposed to be running buses. Look, the old lady does it as a rule, but she's gone potty lately. She's gone crazy over some bloke. Wouldn't surprise me if she got married again. Got married? Yeah. <laughs> Your mother? Mm. <laughs> You'll have a new daddy, won't you? <laughs> Shut up. You better not be a naughty boy in future, mate. Your new daddy will be taking you across his knee, won't he? <laughs> Here, while you're at it, you go and see your new daddy and ask him for an advance on your pocket money, will you? To pay your parking fines. <laughs> Who is the lucky fella, anyway? <laughs> He must be a very brave man if he takes on a woman with a son like you, I must say. Nice bloke from this depot, old Wilf, on the number nines. Wilfred Phillips? Yeah, that's him. Yeah. 
Well, I hope Rosario's got his wife's permission to get married. <laughs> a wife? He ain't got a wife. Well, he better have had one, mate. He's been claiming for her on his income tax. I know, I have to check the code number. He's been married for 20 years to my knowledge. Of course, he's not living with her, I know, but... Uh... What a two-timey twisting... I told Arthur he was after our house. Here, there's another thing. Listen, if he's already married, he can't marry her. Oh, what we know about that, mate? We've got fellas here got four wives. Yeah? <laughs> Mind you, they're all Muslims. <laughs> Girl, four wives, eh? <laughs> what a lovely job. Full employment and guaranteed overtime. <laughs> oh, no. Go on, wait till I get home and tell them, eh, mate? <laughs> Blakey, I'll forgive you anything. <laughs> it's all right. Mind you, I don't know how the old lady's going to take it. Well, I suppose you better fork out for those fines. No, that's all right, son. You don't have to pay me, no. What do you mean? The company's going to pay them? No. I mean the company will stop it out your wages on Friday. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, I always knew he was a rogue. Well, that's your own fault, me old darling, isn't it? Why'd you go out with him? Well, love, when you haven't been out with anyone for 20 years, you can't be very choosy. And you can't even be careful. And he was ever so generous, Stan. If ever I saw anything in a shop I liked, he said I could buy it. Did he? Yes. <laughs> Here, Arthur, how do I look in Mum's coat? <laughs> like an elephant on stilts. <laughs> You're not wearing that if you want to stay married to me. Why not? It's very nice in winter. Better in summer, you stick a pole in it, we all go camping. Get him on. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'll tell you what you want to do, love. Look, you want to put a bit of fur around the bottom, then you can sweep the floor up as you walk in and out. <laughs> well, that'll be a change anyway. I shall have to take it up a bit because it covers all my ankles. Oh, I shouldn't do that. That's the best part of it. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, Stan. What? You know that Wilf was a terrible liar? Was he? Yes. He said that coat suited me and I fell for it. Mm. You don't have to worry, love. I did his washing. I did his ironing. Oh, well. At least he did one good thing for me. Now I know you can do it. I won't have to work so hard in future. Oh, now, when I was thinking, he did say I could let a couple of the rooms for five pounds each. So I think you could give me a bit more on the housekeeping. <laughs> You'll be lucky. Well, you could always leave. I'm not too old to live in sin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 